Hi guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another video on Conqueror's Blade. So today I kind of want to take a bit of a look at the Battle Pass. You know, Season 4 has just been out a day or two now. I always seem to do one of these videos. It seems a, it's kind of a shame to break tradition. I kind of like taking a bit of an overview of the Battle Pass, talking through what I think is good or bad. Is it worth buying? Is it not worth buying? What do you get from the free and what do you get from the paid version? So if you're considering getting the Battle Pass, at least hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea of what you do get, what you don't get, and whether it's going to be worth it for you. So obviously F5 to access the Battle Pass. We'll head over, let's take a look at the Battle Pass right from the start. So it's working in exactly the same way as it has from seasons one to three. There's a paid version, and then obviously there's the free version, both working in exactly the same sense. You do get quite a lot from the free version. So if you don't want to pay for it, can't afford it, have no intention to, it's still well worth looking at the Battle Pass and paying attention to it because you're going to be able to get some quite interesting stuff without spending a penny. So, I mean, um, first up, you know, if you do buy it, you're obviously going to be getting a lot more of the hero skins. Well, you're going to be getting the hero skins. You don't get any real cosmetic skins other than a mercenary attire chest with the free Battle Pass. It depends if you like the hero skins. This is something that's hard to advise. I think they're pretty cool i like the helmet to be honest more than i do the body armor um it's kind of an interesting skin i think it's nice might not be to your style it's really a personal preference thing moving on you know you are getting things on the free side like some of the emotes that we've been introduced hero coins which we'll take a look at the seasonal store in a bit because that's really useful and things like treaties you know a thousand honor these are good stuff that really particularly if you're a newer player are well well worth grabbing you are obviously losing out on things like you know an extra treaties six thousand bronze coins a blue artillery chest and it carries on you get lots of different stuff as you move along there's a mercenary attire chest here which is kind of nice to have some more mastery points extra emotes and cosmetic stuff that we're seeing quite a lot of in the battle pass but you are even in the free battle pass getting a mercenary attire chest here although you're losing out on a banner but again that depends if to comes down to if that's something you as a player are interested in and moving on it's pretty similar throughout you know you see you're getting some interesting stuff on the free battle pass you know weapon schematic crates here well well worth grabbing stuff like that there are even emotes and stuff like that as well in the battle pass on the free side but you are missing out on things padded silver you know another two thousand honor there if you are playing the game long term and are interested in trying to sort of max yourself out and improve yourself then the stuff that you are getting from the paid version of the battle pass is worth having and for a thousand sovereigns for the base battle pass, I think that is kind of worth it. You know, you do get quite a lot of decent stuff. I mean, 2,000 honors, still 2,000 honors, it's not to be sniffed at. Extra treaties and stuff are well worth having, particularly about powdered silver. Powdered silver is definitely the material, crafting material that everyone is in perpetually short supply on. So a lot of this stuff, stuff is worth getting. And of course, you're getting all the extra, uh, you know, uh, unit and hero attires. And again, that kind of comes down to if that's something you're interested in. Although this horse doesn't appear to have any legs, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> um, again, you know, Mercenary Attire Chest. And you see this, it basically goes all the way up till level uh, 100, where you get the final uh, hero attire. Again, kind of cool. I quite like this one. Kind of a nice, fairly looking Ottoman attire. Then beyond that, it is just hero coins. Same split. You're getting these with the free battle pass, and you get plus the extra 20 with the premium version. Worth getting. I think it probably is if you're going to be playing it long term. If you don't play that much, then I think it's still worth checking out the free stuff. If you're leveling the battle pass, you have to get glory to level the battle pass up. You're going to be earning glory from siege battles, free battles, um, anything like that. You're going to be earning glory. The main other way you're going to be getting it is through challenges and weekly challenges, which everyone can complete these challenges, whether you have the battle pass or not. You know, um, push three siege towers or destroy three artillery, 6,000 glory. It's going to raise you a level or two straight from the off. Three battles, sign in, you know, all pretty basic stuff. And we've got 10 weeks in which to do this. So you've got quite a lot of time in which to level your battle pass. So even people who don't play very often, even if you just try and complete these weekly challenges, you're going to be getting pretty close to level 100 by the end of the season. So it's going to be quite a lot that is attainable. So then that kind of leads us on to... Given how much you're going to be earning, even just on the free battle pass, you know, there's 60 hero coins here. Um, what's that? 120 by 10. So 180 hero tokens by the time you reach level 16. You're going to be reaching level 16 in a week. Really, really attainable stuff for free players. And that opens up some interesting stuff on the free um, seasonal store. Now, obviously, you're probably not really going to be attaining any of the, the weapon skins unless you've got the battle pass. But there's a load of interesting stuff on the next page you are going to be wanting to get. 
The most interesting one, in my opinion, is the personal histories. It's the first time we've seen personal histories uh, introduced in Battle Pass. We've never had them in there before. They've only been a cash shop item. And obviously this resets your attribute points. Something that a lot of people get stuck into, particularly when they pick a weapon class early on. Don't want to spend money on the game to buy a personal history. Can't really get access to them once they've used like the one or two you get from the tutorial. And then become stuck. So getting access to these and they've got the ability to buy 10 and they're only 15 each. So you're going to be able to buy all 10 of these personal histories by just getting the free battle pass to level 16. So that's a really well, well worth getting. Absolutely everyone who plays the game should be getting this. And just getting them and banking them. Because even if you don't use them straight away, they are well, well worth having. I mean, I've got seven already, but they are well worth getting. And I'll certainly be grabbing them as well. Keep me a good stock. You know, I could change to a musket or something. Have a play around with different class types. Put my uh, stats from armor into something else. Well worth having. Also, that's well worth getting are the unit battle XP cards. I wouldn't worry about the hero ones unless you've got an abundance of um, hero coins. But these ones... 50% bonus to uh, unit XP earned at the end of each battle. And, for, and they last for 10 battles. Well worth getting. Going to be getting your units levelling up a lot, lot quicker. Yeah. And for 10 each, again, really easy to attain. Other stuff is things like powdered silver, which is pretty nice to get. This is the crafting material that everyone is going to need. Everyone's always going to be in short supply of. So make sure you grab that. Um, and then I would say you're probably moving on to things like your rare armour schematics and your weapon schematics. This is going to be crafting your guardsmen. This is pretty much your, going to be your end game armor. You know, your guardsmen, your card effects, your rogue armor. And these weapons, you know, your, your blue rare weapons are going to be the weapons that you're going to be using in siege battles. They're going to be the ones that you want to get. You're going to want to try and get a legendary drop on. These are the important weapon schematics. Both of these are, you know, you're going to be paying sort of 40,000 silver at peak for, for one schematic like this. And you can get it for 50 hero coins. Well worth having. I wouldn't worry too much, and again, unless you've got an abundance of coins about unit XP medals, you'll be better off buying the battle cards than them. So, hopefully that gives you a little bit of an overview of what the battle pass is and how it works. I think free player or um, the premium battle pass, both are well worth checking out. I think even more so as a free player, if you don't spend any money on the game and have no intention to, then try to take advantage of the free steps, particularly knowing that the first 50 levels are really attainable and you're going to be able to get so much stuff both from the Battle Pass and particularly from the seasonal store where you can grab things like those personal histories. Absolutely you want to be taking advantage of that. If you're a premium player and have brought the Battle Pass, then I think for a thousand sovereigns it's, it's pretty reasonably priced and you're getting quite a lot of cool extra stuff and you're certainly going to have more hero tokens to spend in the seasonal store. So you should probably by the end of the season if you play a reasonable amount you should be pretty well able to grab everything. Anyway, that really completes my kind of little rundown of the battle pass. We're looking at the units and the unit challenge stuff in a separate video. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's interesting. If you have any questions about this, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Of course, subscribe to the channel for a load more Conqueror's Blade content. Thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you all on the next video.